Hello! In this video I will show you how to assemble the 3D printed articulated hand. It's a pretty simple process, but there are a couple of steps that might be a bit tricky to do. As you can see, this is how it came out of my printer. I've printed this on a Creality Ender 3. Uh, this is a skin color PLA, I don't know which brand. It was printed at 0.1mm layer height on a standard 0.4mm nozzle. Make sure that you have printed out all the pieces. Some pieces are identical, for example the index finger and the ring finger are the same. As well as the 3 out of 5 pegs that are identical. If you look closely, you'll notice that these two pegs are different and these three are the same size. I'm gonna put on screen a diagram of all the different parts that you will need to print. There are 23 pieces in total, so make sure to print all of them. But enough rambling, let's get to it. Okay, I've removed all the support material and I'm gonna start from this piece here, this is the palm and the five pegs. And we want to insert them in their sockets. To be able to pose the fingers, the tolerance in there has to be very tight. So depending on the material you printed with, it can be a little hard to insert them. The easiest way I found is to put the peg on a flat, hard surface, then align the socket you want to insert and apply pressure from the top until you hear the click. It might take a bit of strength. Okay. Now move the joint back and forth to loosen it up a bit. It should feel pretty tight in there. Make sure that the peg is all the way in. It should be aligned with the top edge. Now just repeat the process for the other pegs. Make sure the previous peg is bent 90 degrees. And then again align it with the socket and push down until it clicks in place. Just like that, nice and tight. And again, move the joint back and forth to loosen it up. Alright, once you have all the joints in place, this is what you will end up with. All the ball joints should be fully inserted and you should be able to move them around. They should feel very tight. Ok, let's move on. To assemble the fingers is pretty simple. Take two of the three pieces that form a finger, but instead of pushing this way, like this, I recommend to rotate one piece by 90 degrees and then push it until it clicks in place. Like that. Did you hear the click? Now start rocking the joint back and forth. Make sure that the parts are aligned correctly and the finger can be bent all the way at 90 degrees. Also, check out the other side to see if the parts are connected properly. Now do the same with the tip of the finger. Again, it should click in place. Make sure that the finger can extend completely and can bend all the way like this. Every part should be able to bend 90 degrees. And when it's fully bent, there should be no gap between the pieces. Let's repeat the process for the next finger. And the next one. And the next one. And the same goes for the thumb. Ok, we're almost done. But before we connect the fingers to the pegs, I like to take this disc joint here and simply slide it into the opening at the bottom of the palm. And again, move it back and forth to loosen it up a little bit. Before inserting the fingers, I would recommend to add a tiny drop of super glue in here. 
and then you insert the finger all the way in the peg. Repeat for the other fingers. And the thumb as well. Alright, we got all the fingers in place. Make sure that everything is nice and tight and the joint should feel stiff. Make also sure that the fingers can be spread apart as well as move close together like a karate chop pose. Lastly, take the wrist and just slide it in place like this. It should feel stiff but not super tight. And we're done! This is the fully assembled hand. All the fingers are fully posable. And now you can have fun making all the poses you want. So this concludes our video. I hope everything was clear and you won't have any trouble putting the pieces together. And if by mistake you break something, you can simply print that piece again. So thank you for watching and I see you the next time. Bye bye!